This is a brief instruction on how to set a K-type thermocouple controller and the model number is XY-WT04. And this one is run from a thermocouple. There is another similar controller that goes on NTC thermistor, which means at the temperature range will be up to 100 uh, Celsius degree, maybe 150. This one goes up to 1000 uh, degrees Celsius. It's a high temperature controller, but it goes down to minus 100 also, so it's got a good range. Now the difference between the thermistor and the thermocouple is that the thermistor will change its resistance with temperature and thermocouple actually generates tiny uh, electrical voltage. It uh, generates about 5 millivolts per each uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So it is a tiny, a tiny thermal cell. It will actually generate uh, electricity, but the amounts are so tiny that it has to be nicely uh, screened, shrouded, the cable, and uh, there's a high precision in reading what comes from the probe, from the thermocouple probe. Uh, now this one has four buttons on the front, and the first one to consider would be the power button. Now if you hit it quick, it will toggle the relay, so it will, if it was on with the setting, it will go to off. If you hit it again, it will go on, overriding whatever setting you had. Uh, so this is a very handy feature. The holding it for a couple of seconds will change the backlight to right now. The LP on mini means that the backlight will turn off after 10 minutes. This may be handy for a bedroom where you have a heater and you don't want the light on for all night. Uh, but if you don't like that, you just hold it again for two seconds. It will go to LP off. And right now the backlight will stay on all the time. The backlight for the display. The next button that is important is the setting button. And if you hit it quickly once, you will get the heat or cold changed and you go with the up and down buttons to change it to heat or to cold. If you hit it twice you will have the temperature and right now it's 395 Celsius you can use the up and down to change that setting. If you go three times it will be the hysteresis. Right now it's 50 which is the maximum but you can go down to 1 degree Celsius and this is the minimum hysteresis. And hysteresis is the difference in temperature between the set temperature and the temperature where the relay will go on or off. Now, if you hold this setting button for a couple of seconds, you will get the next menu. And now it's OTP. Now, if you hit the power button at this moment, the OTP will be on. At this moment it's off. There's no OTP, which is the over temperature alarm. Uh, let me show you here. I have a list of the symbols and the settings. So OTP will be over temperature. When you click twice, we'll have the LTP, low temperature alarm. Then you have a DLY for delay. And this is the delay after the temperature is set. You will have minutes before the relay will go on or off. Then OFE is a temperature offset, which is the uh, fourth setting after four times. A BEP for beep, Fahrenheit or Celsius or an odd uh, setting is for setting for the Wi-Fi, which I don't have. The Wi-Fi is plugged in. It's a little... Uh, adapter that plugs in right here in the white socket here and this is extra three bucks or four bucks I did not need it at all I need it for different applications so I didn't get the Wi-Fi uh, adapter so let's go very quickly through the other settings so I'm going to hold it for two seconds so we have the OTP now we have the LTP low temperature alarm then we have the delay okay and we don't want any then we have offset, 
which is zero. At this moment, everything is fine. Then we have beep on. Beep is very faint, very tiny, so it doesn't really. Then we have Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then we have the setting for the Wi-Fi address. Uh, you can find instruction online uh, for that. At this moment, we have 22.0 uh, Celsius red from the probe, from the thermocouple, the environment outside, and you can use it for any item that is going to be cooling or heating, and the temperature ranges from minus 100 Celsius to 999 plus Celsius. I'm holding the thermocouple in my fingers and wait for the 30 degrees. Uh, and at this moment, when the temperature reaches 30, you'll see the alarm, and this is the alarm. So it will just blink and beep. And right now I'm going to turn it off, disable that by holding, <clears throat> and then we can go uh, with this button. Over temperature alarm is turned off. Uh, so this is basically it. I'm going to open it up now, show you what's inside of this little controller, and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Let's take a look inside of the controller. So this is the front plate made of plastic with the four push buttons. And now the push buttons operate the tactile switches on the display side of the bottom board. Uh, the display has a LED light. Uh, the light can be turned off or on uh, after 10 minutes of idle operation with no buttons being pressed. The other side has a few chips. We have the microprocessor, we have the tiny buzzer. The buzzer is very quiet. Uh, you may not like it too much if you want nice and loud sound from it. Uh, and the other board very simply plugs in through the two COM connections, one on this side, the other on the other side. And this is the only a way of securing the board. Uh, there's nothing else. The bottom board will have the four tabs holding it in place, uh, so it's going nowhere. However, the top board can be actually pulled by the relay and disconnected from the uh, from the other board. And you can see the two COM connectors on each side, but this is the only way it is being attached. Uh, so if you have some environment where this may be shaken or pulled or, or otherwise uh, moved, you may consider uh, putting zip ties or uh, making some arrangement to secure the board in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but overall the design is very tidy. It's uh, very, very good looking.